This video is not intended for anyone 13 or younger. Hello viewers and welcome back to another My Hero Academia read through and today we're going to be reading through chapter 268. So last week we had our fight between Hawks and Davi and and we did get a bit of a trollage from Hortikoshi with uh, Davi saying something and being Hortikoshi, he trolled us and we don't hear what Davi said in a black speech box and he's just doing it. and uh Hortikoshi's just doing his usual thing of like he wants to give us the answers to uh Dobby on who he is and we kind of know who he is in theory but we just want that approval we just want that Hortikoshi approval saying yeah this theory is true but he but Hortikoshi just says nope you can't have it i'm just i'm just teasing you over and over and over again <laughs> and eventually over a while it'll get really annoying and probably you're gonna anger a lot of people. But before that we had uh Murkuro just about to destroy uh Shikaraki's uh tube and Endeavor just came in to save again, save the day against the Majin uh, Nomu. So, what will happen in this chapter? Will Murkura succeed? Let's find out, and let's take a look at My Hero Academia, Chapter 268. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It only takes two simple clicks. Click, click. Enjoy the episode. And right off the bat, on the first page, we don't get a cover from last week. Something like, uh, like a comic cover for this chapter. We just, we just start the chapter. So, we start off the chapter, weirdly enough, back to the hallway with all the dead, dumb Nomus in the hallway of the route to the laboratory. And, and it'll be answered in just a second that we just, we... We're, for the beginning of this chapter, we went back like a couple of minutes before the end of the last chapter with Murkura just about to smash the pod and and Endeavor saving her, Murkura. So we go back to the hallway of destroyed Nomus that Murkura went full Pickle Rick rampage through them. And yeah, it's still bloody corpses of them slaughtered all over the place with someone saying with someone saying from out of nowhere saying the small time no uh, this pa um oh yeah we tried to figure out the sentencing the small time no move popped out from here this path should be and we see out of one of the doorways endeavor pops out and with endeavor saying a shortcut. And we continue where we left off with Crust still fighting Paris, fighting Cage Nomu. And he's still being, and Cage is still being held back by the other heroes. And Cage. And now Endeavor has in, joined up with Crust. And Endeavor starts a conversation with Crust saying, What's the hold up, Crust? And, and Crust says, Endeavor! The ones, this this one's regeneration is giving us trouble. And Endeavor and someone else in the hallway, in the secret door, saying, "Don't worry." And on the next page, we find out who it was. It is Aizawa coming out of the door, saying. But before that, we get a shock from. No, it's not. Cage gets a bit sh shocked at something. But it turns out Aizawa just erased his quirk, making the other hero's jobs way easier. And with Aizawa saying, I'll erase it. And then we go, and then we head into the main laboratory, where part of the battle was in the last couple of chapters. We see Cage get flung right out of the, um, out of the hallway. 
and we see on the and we get our title chapter with uh, My Hero Academia, chapter number two sixty eight, and the title is called Scramble. Written by Horikohe Horikoshi, translation Cable Cook, and lettering by John Hurt once again. And as we see out of the battle out of the tunnel, we see Endeavor taking on Cage, and we see the fight between El Crust. Aizawa and present Mike battling Sindel and Elephant Nomu. And everybody doing, and our heroes doing bad ad, bad ass kicking ass and taking names of these high ends. And on the next page, page three, we see, I think, from what I can tell from the panels, that Endeavor just finished off, uh, finished off a uh, cage I think by having Endeavor punching cage so hard it breaks his cage and probably crushing his brain killing him or it could be I can't really tell by the art here and I think cage says Gya pa pa yama and we have Endeavor Endeavor having his inner monologues in the next panel saying, Under its skin, layers and layers of bone. Okay, that was weird. I guess it's like another design feature for these high ends. And we have Aizawa saying, Endeavor. And we, I think we have uh, Aizawa's inner monologue saying, After starting at the... After starting at the two in the front, there was a brief lag before I could, before I spotted the one in the back. And he's talking about Sindel, Elephant, and Majin. Sindel and Majin got the full brunt of the of a uh, eraser quirk uh, with uh, Aizawa's quirk, but Majin was blocked by the other two, so. So Martian is not that effective, and Endeavor continue and Aizawa finish, finishes his sentence saying, Hurry, and finish that one off, when we see Endeavor just starting his attack with his fire burst, and cooks, I think, elf, uh, Cage? I can't really tell. And we go back through the hallway where the Mad Doctor was, and Mercuro was, and we continue where we left off with, uh, with Mercuro just about to smash uh, Shikaraki's pod. And she's just having like a very good art as always. And we have Mercuro's inner monologues continuing saying, the second, thi the second this guy came into view, my body just knew. My rabbit survival instincts told me. And I think that Majin's, Majin's a uh, little, here thing is retracting back after that attack and Mercuro's dialogue continues saying that is that is oh uh, what the hell that is dude that is that is dude is that oh that this dude is bad news and she's just looking through the pod where Shikaraki is, and Mercuro continues saying, This thing. And we move on to the next page. We see, we get a, the next page is a full page spread of Shikaraki inside his pod, just doing his creepy smile, like just dreaming, dreaming for his day of his uh, release and start slaughtering the entire state of humanity. And Mercuro finishes this, her inner monologue saying, It can't be released into the world, no matter the cost. And on the next page, we see the mad doctors trying to shout and saying, trying to stop Mercuro from destroying the pod. And the mad doctors say, Stop that! And she does attack the pod. Like, she does a little, with her leg, does tap the glass. And we do get a progression screen of uh, Shigaraki's uh, status, and he's at 74% right now, so it's 
gone up just a little, slowly but surely. And next page, we don't see the result of that, so we go back to the main laboratory and we see that the fight still continues and we get someone's new dialogue kicking in, saying, and it turns out, it. I'm just going to say it now, it turns out it's the Sindel Nomu, and she starts saying, Voice, shield, laser, physical enhancement, saber. So, the one, and we get more of the, and then we get Sindel's inner monologue, and she starts saying, So, the one nullifying my quirks right now must be that one. And, and she's looking at uh, Aizawa, and, and Sindel continues with her in a monologue saying, I was disabled the very moment he appeared, but what triggered it? He didn't touch me. He's hiding his eyes. Could it be? Sight? It must be. And yeah, sh okay, that's kind of scary that Sindel Nomu is really catching on on what's going on. And she's basically Sherlock Holmes this place this scene of just having her states what's going on in her head and just trying to figure out a plan to to do as much damage as she can do. So, okay, that's kind of awesome having a bit of a... And the panels on the page kind of feels like... I'm not sure if they're... I'm not sure if the anime version when this scene is animated... I hope they... I hope they do this scene with the bit with Sindel Nomu just... Doing like a Guy Ritchie camera look, you know? Like, if anybody has ever seen the Sherlock Guy Ritchie films, the two films, they're good. You know the scene with the, when Sherlock Holmes is breaking down what he's going to do and the shots in it for, in that, in those two movies, how he breaks them down and how he thinks through the problem. And it's kind of like that scene. And I would love to see that fully realized in the anime if we eventually get that. Like, have, like, I don't know if it was intentional that uh, Horikoshi has ever seen the Guy Ritchie um, Sherlock movies. Because I kind of feel like it is kind of thinking that way. I, th I think it's just pretty much me. So, on the next page, we continue with uh, Sindel just continuing her inner monologue, analyzing what's going on and trying to figure out how to stop Aizawa's uh, eraser quirk. She goes, continuing, saying, but how? But how do you undo the effect? And we see the two other heroes that we see just trying to deal with uh, Sindel. And she continues saying, is it on a time limit? Or maybe, ah, much better. As we continue with the with the, the Deadshot look-alike, who looks like Deadshot from DC's uh, Suicide Squad, as he says, it's running. Even just, even just its body alone is capable of incredible speed. And then we get Aizawa's in a dialogue, and he says, "Wait, is it avoiding my gaze on purpose?" And we get we continue back to Sindel and she finishes her monologue saying mind and body as she dodges dodges uh Deadshot's uh, laser beam and it does go through her arm and Sindel starts to regenerate that arm and she says continuing saying feels so very clear feels amazing so her mind is starting to get better and better and, and the mad doctor did say before they got out they were 100 percent ready i guess this is um what he meant because at first these high-end nomus were not as dangerous as the as hood so i guess now sindel has reached that point in that evolution that uh, hood is she's at as close to intelligent as Hood is. So yeah, they may, that's super dangerous right now with Sindel just about to do a new attack with 
with what I'm seeing, like, her legs are starting to expand for some weird reason. Like, her, like, uh, the upper part of the legs start to inflate. And, um, let's see, on the next page, we, and it's an, another double page panel spread with her saying, doing her newest attack with, uh, and kind of in the same style as um, All for One was doing during his fight with All Might. With him saying, with him saying his, the activated quirks he's using and combining them, just mixing and matching. And yeah, those high-end gnomas are now capable of doing it. So yeah, and they're intelligent. So yeah, that's not good. And she starts off saying, liquid liquidification plus rapture and she causes a huge explosion from her legs spewing spears and our heroes do get as i can tell that elephant cross present mike aizawa are all protected by crustus shields and aizawa's just going through the motion endeavor's the only one who's not behind cover with crust and we see, I think that, I think that's Majin's head, and he's still smiling, so Endeavor didn't destroy the brain yet, so Majin just gets his tendrils ready to probably stop Mukuro. And on the next page, we do see a continuation of what happened with Mukuro tapping on the glass, and she does get stopped by Majin's uh, tendrils, this time going through the side of the stomach and on her, I can only assume, left leg, like through the, through the shins here, like through the shins, ouch, that's painful, and we go back to the computer status saying that Shigaraki is now 75% complete, and now Majin's tendrils are starting to pull Mercura away, just pulling a scorpion, like having Majin just doing, GET OVER HERE! And Mercura's kind of react to this, and the Mad Doctor's shocked. And we see on the next page, we do see that Mercura was able to attack the glass, doing her lunar arc. And we get a BAM at the, at the tube, so we don't know how much damage she caused the pod yet and we move on to the next page we see the mad doctor freaking out as we see the computers starting to explode all over the place with sort short circuiting with the water from the pod rushing in onto the computers and blowing everything up short circuiting everything beep 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 and boom 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 and as we see we get Mercuro getting dragged back through the hallway by Majin's uh, tendrils still doing his get over here as Mercuro looks at the tube as she says crap so she most likely failed and we see and we see we cut back to Endeavor and he sees something and we see Mercuro getting thrown right back into the main laboratory, far away from Shigaraki and the Mad Doctor, as far away as possible, thanks to Majin. And Endeavor does catch Mercuro, so she doesn't die from the impact from the wall or something. And then we quickly cut back to the Mad Doctor, and he's freaking out, saying, Gah! And we move to page 16, and yeah, Mercuro didn't actually succeed but she did manage to destroy part of the tube and starting to crack a little bit and most of the base of the machinery is broken by Mercuro's attack as the mad doctor freaks out and saying no and we quickly cut back to Endeavor having catching Mercuro and he stucks the landing before Mercuro can hit into the wall and probably die at such a high speed. As Endeavor's just saying, shouting to Mercuro, Mercuro, 
like he's trying to check if Makoro's okay. And Makoro does answer, so she's okay. And she finishes saying, and the rest of the chapter is just her finishing up her sentence saying, Finish him off. Shigaraki. Shigaraki's in there. As we cut away back to present Mike and Aizawa looking. And we do get a flashback to their best friend who was uh, Kurogiri. Corrupt, uh, having Kurogiri. The villain Kurogiri who was brainwashed, manipulated, and raised from the grave and part of the abomination experiments being a no technically a high-end Nomu. Technically a high-end Nomu. Back from before the beginning of this arc with the, with the trio. With Aizawa and President Mike getting super angry and pissed at the Mad Doctor. As Mokura continues saying, The old fart too. And we see for the last page on the panel, for the next two weeks, we see Aizawa and President Mike looking super pissed and ready to kick some ass. As Mokura finishes up, finish up her sentence saying, We can't. Let Shigaraki wake up. And we don't, and we get a next chapter, next chapter hits, April 26. So we're going to be taking a week off because of ev all the manga chapters are taking a week off because of uh, events that are playing out right now, still playing out right now. So we're going to be delayed for a week. And then the week after on the 26th, we get to continue with uh, chapter, with chapter 269. And yeah, this is quite the exciting chapter and we, we got some pretty much good fight scenes and, and it's starting to get like things about with Shikaraki are getting worse and worse and worse. But Makro did destroy part of the tube so it could bust any open, any moment, so. We'll just have to wait for two weeks until when we come back to chapter 269. So until then, have a good day, everybody. And I'll see you next week with some uh, supplementary reading to keep you guys busy in the meantime. So until then, have a good day, everybody. And I'll see you next week. And until then, have a good day, everybody. And see you next time. Bye for now.